Welcome back truth seekers to another article from our channel as we delve into the hidden reality of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's world behind all that glitz and glam. Well hello and welcome back to our channel covering all of the latest explosive royal family finds. Strap in tight and tighten your corsets, it's time for another episode of, As the Crown Turns, A Story That Never Dies. Right, if you haven't already done so then please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications now. Therefore you do not want to skip the shocking this content we have coming up for your in future posts. Therefore, the new buzz is Meghan Markle freaks out. Why, you may ask. Oh, King Charles has finally joined the party and we are about to play royal musical chairs. It seems Harry has lost his seat. More drama cut to thicker plot, and everyone eventually dies lol. You are probably thinking, this cannot possibly be right. The King of England has better things to do with his time than family politics, I trust? Ah, so it is in the oh-so-sensible world of British monarchy where reason comes second to melodrama. We dive into this piping tea more deeply. If you believe the notoriously sketchy gossip mills, that Jay Leno simp King Charles has kicked Harry out of royal high school powwows. Can you imagine Charles kicking Harry out of a ring of school value as he tightens the grip on his game phone? How decisions are now made in Buckingham Palace or will the last royal standing claim the throne? But, holy smokestacks, there's more. Kate Middleton will reportedly take Harry's place. Which role exactly, you ask? Was it professional Red Rider, Spare Heir or Duke of showing up at social situations uninvited? It's all a bit perplexing. The last time I saw, Kate was busy being a princess and producing heirs to the British throne. I guess in the royal world you can never have too much to do, eh? But maybe she works as Harry on the weekends. Funny that, then there is the cryptic message doing the rounds you are not a royal or family anymore. But who is behind this proclamation? Charles, Kate. Queen Victoria's ghost? Giving serious mean girls, you can't sit with us, vibes. I sort of think Harry is eating his meals in the palace bathroom. So let's zoom out for a second and look at the landscape. We are watching the world's richest and most privileged family. It's kind of like, keeping up with the Kardashians, if they had more well-spoken accents and an overabundance of corgis. But why not, said an O-one-ever, Undler, but then if you're looking to preserve any sense of dignity or mystery for an institution that is over a 1,000 years old maybe dispense with this reality TV shite. Just a thought. Also, how ridiculous is it to banish someone from a family? But I'm fairly certain DNA isn't supposed to expire. You just do not randomly decide someone off of your family tree because they meddled to California and began making Netflix documentaries. That's not how this works. This is not how this shit works. You know what really rustles my jimmies? Shows just what a society of suckers for this stuff. We are so starved for royalty drama that we believe the most ridiculous things. Well what do you think of a king gonna kick his son out from family sure why not? Elve anyone stepping into a prince without any official last name? Or else s. Or was she just putting on her shoes from, who, sucked off her wish by wanting to be a real pants princess for your. Totally plausible. A sprawling family drama with shouting, about faces in the heat of battle and more double crosses than a Shakespearean tragedy? Sounds legit. The worst part is that this bullshit takes away from real issues. That there are more important fish to fry than whether Harry is, or isn't any longer a royal, maybe half in half out? Oh, and no, sorry, let us focus on whether Kate will be seen wearing Harry's old army fatigues in her new role. But here's a wild thought. That is a pretty banal question, but, or hear me. None of this actually happened. Well, now what of all this is just a lot more crap to sell magazines and hits? I mean I know, never been done before but bear with me. Think about it. We are a family, in the midst of big changes. The family matriarch, who was nearly 100 years old, had just passed. 
The young king is still learning. The younger generation is the way forward. That enough human drama to be going on with isn't it, but not exactly exotic? But that doesn't sell papers or get people talking, so what is to be done? We invent more drama. We make a big deal out of normal family growth spurts. And the best part? I mean, we can all just pull facts out of our asses. We can just make stuff up. A king kicking out his son? Sure, throw that in there. A princess stealing rolls? Why not? Screaming in despair? Absolutely. Who needs real when you can sensational? But, let's be honest, love King Charles or loathe him, and it seems to brighten his day when we do the latter, the man is a fully-fledged adult who has been in training for this role every single last one of his sixty-five years thus far. Do you really believe that he is going to anoint himself supreme leader of the land, only to reach across a table with gravitas in his chin and dramatically disown his own son from family order? Come on, people. He has fought the public court of opinion for as long as I can remember. He is better equipped to deal with family feuds I believe. And Kate? Do not be fooled by the fact that this is a woman who has been married to Prince William for over ten years and played the royal life like it was her own personal catwalk since April 2011. Naturally, why else would she be going after Harry? I am quite sure she has other things to do with that precious time, like raising the future King of England and all. On the other hand and regarding Harry and Meghan, did they forget that both of them made their decision to end royal peace by choice? They weren't kicked out. They walked out. Now, surely that decision has caused tension and is perhaps apples to being kicked out of the family. But do you know what irritates me the most? So what does all of this say about how we treat public figures? We take raw aspects of layered family history and reduce them to simple stories in which the characters are either good or bad but we literally feed off of that and create manufactured drama instead of addressing the true, human emotions going on with all sides. We have a hard time wrapping our heads around the idea that even royal family members could experience day-to-day -day domestic slip-ups. If you add your family in this story, then what? As in, would we even be talking about whether to throw people out? Is this going to have us speculating about tampering? Are we reducing your whole family model to simply a list of binge-worthy series? I think not. Oh, and racial undertones too. Clarence House, Meghan Markle, a woman of color who married into the extremely white British royal family, has seen more scrutiny and contempt than ever before. Every step is scrutinized, every word dissected as if it were the dead flesh of a cadaver, and now we can add wailing in misery to her list of probable crimes. It would be hilarious if it wasn't so offensive. And one massive distraction from the fact that, hell, very likely nothing good is happening back home. Are they perhaps actually dealing with this stuff privately behind rather than in front of closed doors while we're all getting into a flap about whether Harry is still royal? Maybe they are currently lolling about their numerous palaces reading the most sordid tales and wagging those exquisitely coiffed heads. Dr. C would say, can you imagine part their breakup is that they think I kicked him out? I know, Dad. Harry, women would kill to have my old job. Kate likely to Harry, like Kate would want that shit, oops I mean job. It's not impossible, folks. So here's my advice. So the next time you see one of those related to drama in the royal family headlines, especially ones about kicking, screaming and roll stealing, just take a deep breath, Go away from your device and do literally anything else. Pet a dog. Read a book. Learn to juggle. Anything is better than one more day deciphering the enigmatic language of a royal scandal. And also to the Prince and Princess of Wales, should they be watching this lunacy, hats off. I'm sorry. I do, I am sorry some weak creature has to take that out on you lives and relationships. You should not have to live your family drama this way, royal or no. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I rest my case, this is bats hit crazy. Are we really making up a plotline, in which the king banished his son since her daughter-in-law, 
whom he accused of theft, actually stole Nebula's diminished position from him? That, my friends, is unbelievably laugh or cry stupid. What do you think about this? Tell me what you think in the comments. Stay tuned for more WTF news and exciting revelations in the videos coming to YouTube. Like and share this video. Get the latest news about royal family here. Subscribe to YouTube channel watch this space for more interesting updates on the royal family. Bye for now.